Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is John. Today we're going to be fishing with my beautiful wife Leah, my niece Keely, and her husband Jake. Please stay tuned. Lots of live action ahead. There's something there. Hopefully it's not a shark. What do you got? Snapper it looks like. Try. I don't know which way the current's going. We're gonna try something a little different than we normally do. Such a little head. So it's just a lightweight, small bait. Basically, you just gotta, it should hopefully feed out by itself. And what you do is you watch the speed. If it takes off, if it, if it stops, you just gotta. Yeah. We're at 170 feet, so it's going to take a second for it to get down there. We're going all the way down. It might, it, hopefully, it doesn't make it all the way to the bottom. Once this thing gets wet, it's going to be a little It may have gotten eaten already, and yeah. I just missed it. Although it looks like somebody took it. You're gonna have to do it next time. On your own. So you gotta get them up before the shark gets here. Huh? Can you put them in the boat? Right side, so they're coming. Might not be a keeper. He doesn't need the rubber thing. <laughs> they better not be a shark. <laughs> He's got big muscles, he'll be all right. Do you see it? It's like 100 feet down there. Oh. It was on the bottom when he hit it. Oh, was it? Yeah. Could be a grouper then. Oh, yeah. Both got one. He just got sharked. <laughs> you got a shark now. I got one now. He's got a shark now. What do I do? Tighten that bail a little bit. Is that a shark? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It's like right wide. 
dragging up a big one. You did it halfway. I was going to say something, you bring it up. I couldn't get it up faster. No, I, well, that's the thing you see. But you know what? <laughs> yeah, you had a good fish on. Sharks are here, we may not stay, but he's a keeper, so instead of feeding them to the sharks. Yeah. Oh my gosh, socks, that was a good one too. I feel yeah, it. that was a good fish for sure. So this one you go straight down, right? Yeah, you go straight down. You want to keep your thumb on here. And this one won't be as bad, but you want to keep a little bit of pressure on it. So just light pressure, it doesn't have to be allowed. Oh, yeah. Um, it's got you, the ability to pull it up a little bit easier, power through it. I mean, it'll bite through the line, but you can put some muscle behind it and hopefully get it past them. We'll see what happens. Yep. Yeah, we're, uh, about 65 miles offshore and the first drop cut two red snappers so far and the sharks are here already so we may not be staying here very long but there's only a snapper in the home looks like you'll feel maybe like a thump or something or yeah, you may just want to start reeling. You may have a fish already. Oh! I missed a big one. That's a good fish. You got one on? Drop it back down. Your bait still may be on there. My bait's going on. better. A little better fish. Yeah, it's in that straw bag. I'll just take the whole bag. Number two for the box. Keep. 
He wanted that thing. He inhaled it. Them so the meat's better. No, just the meat looks better, whiter, instead of being pink. All right, you can go ahead and drop that one, Jake. Doesn't look like we're directly on them anymore, though. But let's see what happens. That <laughs> would not have been a nice. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen those fishing videos where people cast and smack them to the ground. Getting low already? Um, I don't know, it's a return home promptly, so. <laughs> Probably the 20% mark. Yeah, I think I started making it. Oh, I have a big one, right? Whoa! <laughs> Leave that down and grab that other pole. See, Keely, there's a bright yellow bag. Not sure we, what we got on. Something hit the flat line. I left the bale open while I was lowering mine down. I looked over and it was just peeling line, so it could be <laughs> way the hell out there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a what is? That? Mm, maybe a shark of some kind. It looks like a shark. Yeah. I saw something by the boat. I'm making it very easy. Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> what? See a shark? What? Where? Off to the right side. I saw him under the boat, but I... Man, he had, he had to grab oh, yeah, that way yeah. back there. Yeah, got them all the way. <laughs> oh, 
probably come off. Yeah. Uh, you probably don't have your bait anymore. Yeah. Let me lower it back down to the bottom, let it sit there, just let it sit on the bottom for a second just to double check. Chances are he got you. There you go. You don't have to pump, just reel. If you can just keep reeling, unless you have to pump, just reel. Yeah, just put constant pressure on them and just reel. Hopefully there's no sharks. Big old red grouper. Out of here. Good fish. God, last time we were out here, there was no red grouper. Yeah, two of them. Two, two big ones. Yep. That's a nice one. I got a picture of it. No, you can get a picture of it. Come in. Do you want the actual camera? No. Be faced into this. That's big. No, they're out of season. Oh. Would have been red. Would have been a keeper. Would have been a good one. Yeah, don't drop them though. We got to put them on this thing. He will not go back down. No. Open that. Yeah, I bloated his tongue is. Yep. Yeah, so we put them on this. So drop them back down. Have a release on it, yeah. It'll it release once it hits a certain depth, yeah. That's pretty cool. Look at how they released. <laughs> Not when you're reeling in a fish, typically. I mean, sometimes we do, but you, you put more pressure on the line. Because you don't have the you know the flexibility in your arm, but sometimes the big shark gets on or something. We may do that. I don't think it's a shark. I think it was a good snapper. Unless it was a shark, but I don't think it could. I don't know. It may have been a shark because I don't have any line. I don't have any weight. Biggest one of the day. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Very good for you. Oh. Oh, please. Over 20 inches. Yeah, you definitely don't want to stand. Are you guys going to fish today? No. No. <laughs> I was going to get a drink. <laughs> I could sleep right now. Get him, Jake. Smaller. No. Can I feed 
Get them past that shark. Shark. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when he hit it in there, when he ducked under. Yeah. He lost. He <laughs> 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 Shark is like playing. It's a one. one. They're having a full meal today. Thanks, Jakey Who? Yeah, that was not that far off the bottom. Shark. You too? Yep. Alright, now it's definitely time to move. Smooth? <laughs> they just, just keep coming. Yeah. I have a shark. And I was vomiting. Really? You may have a big snapper. You got a big snapper, dude. Or a grouper. You just gotta get it past the shark. Well, I don't see anything big on the screen. We've seen all the shots before. I thought there is one that we thought. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. No, he's not. I don't see any sharks in the cone. You don't want to do that, what you just did, though. You put slack in the line, you can lose the fish. Yeah. You want to lift up, you've got to reel down as you go back down. You can't, you got to keep that tip of that pole thing. Is a good fish? Hopefully it's red snapper. Looks like a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop reeling. Yeah, you... Good one. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's a line out. Open that bale. Yeah, we need to get a picture. Try not to get real that thing up over here. That's a good one. That's good. How big do they normally get? They get bigger than this. Really? Way bigger. It's a decent one though. Yeah. Yep, that's a good one. We can get a few more of these. This is number four, right? Yeah, it should be four. No sharks, come on. What'd you say I said hopefully no sharks. This feels like anything. a good fish. Oh god. She's back. Uh oh. He's here. Yeah, we see him. We saw him come on the damn sonar. Sorry, babe. Frig. I almost had him. He was right at the boat. Yeah, he was right there. Hopefully, the tax man doesn't show up. It was like five, six miles. We'll see. 
Hopefully it's not a bunch of red groupers here. Can't keep them any. Or a tiny red grouper. Not much of a fight. Yeah. What is that? Is that a big shark? Where? Oh yeah, look at that. Is that a big cobia? That may be a cobia. Either that or a shark. What is it? Eh, it's a shark. It looks like a baby. I didn't want the shark to get it. <laughs> Not huge, but hey, it's a keeper. <laughs> Normally we throw these back. Try to get one over 20 inches. Eat that little bait, probably 30, 40 foot off the bottom. Yeah, it's 19. Big enough, I don't want to get my finger in my mouth. What do we have? That guy hit quick. Get on there? Yeah, open. Yeah. Where's Brucey? Stop it with the S word. Oh yeah. I didn't say it. I said senses. You said shark something or other. Shark senses. Yeah, you can't say that word. <laughs> what? You can't say the S word. What word? Shark. Oh. <laughs> That's what brings them around. <laughs> and they really shark? Yeah, I got shark. <laughs> See, now he got shark. I got shark. Thanks, I Keely. Still can't do anything with it. <laughs> What's happening? I used to bring bananas on I the boat. I thought you were yelling at me for saying the cuss word. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> the shock word. Uh, I used to bring bananas on the boat. And I was like, you don't have your banana, do you? And I'm like, oh, oh yeah. It's <laughs> 100% a shark. I can't agree with it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting bit over here. Oops. If you keep Thanks, Keely. We gotta move now. <laughs> could be a big grouper, too. No, there's nothing. I, I know, we, we would have warned you about, no, too quick. about the S word. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said? It could be on the bottom. <laughs> you could have a big grouper, too. So it hit it hard right now. It's tight from the bottom. He's like, where's the smell? Because his dog is where the fish is and his dog is. shark today. I was not. He seems to be on there pretty good. I mean, I was sitting there holding it. It was dense. I'm sick of your fingers. I don't like them. Crank. Crank till you can't. Crank till you can't. Get ready to phones. This thing is almost like bent in half. No. I had dogs. We're 
about 10 feet away. No, you're not. Yeah. What? You're more than 10. Oh, really? I'm on white line. Oh, all right. Yeah. It can't be more than 20. I see him. Hey, cameraman, come here. All right. No, come over here. I'm the side of the boat. Jesus. Get him in the water. I can see him. Where is it? It's a shot. I think so. I don't know where I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. He's right under you. <laughs> He's a big shark. See him? Oh, big yeah, I see shark. Him. He's probably going to freak out when he gets to the top, oh, but that's a huge shark. Yeah, that's he, he's big. I oh my god! That's a lemon shark. Yeah, I think it may be. Yeah, he could he's going to take off again. Yeah, his tail right. He's going to get pissed in a second. Oh you got video? Yeah. Can you do that? What do you want me to do? Um, we're going to cut him. See, no, how that, yeah. see how that's hooked? He's, I'm surprised he isn't freaked out. Get all the videos you can. <laughs> That's a big shark. That's bigger than the one we caught last time. Bruce! I told you he's going to freak out. I don't know how he hasn't snapped this line yet. He's going to piss. Alright, we're going to put that down back here. I'm going to try to cut that line. Yeah. What? Actually, <laughs> he's tired. <laughs> Jake's like, he's Jake's tired. Yeah. tired too. We got a shark. <laughs> we go home now. <laughs> we can't go home. We need two more. For a coming in. Oh, he knows. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Cut myself. I've cut myself you before. No. Right-handed. But this one... Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Can't cut the show. You can still poke yourself that way, but... Maybe like right there. Pin bones out. He ain't stupid. He knows where to be.
see it. It may, it may not be here. They're there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, attack. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> They're like piranha. <laughs> they are. So you can't do anything with that fish, can you? Salt water? Um, some people say you can eat them. Different really? ones. Some of the different ones, yeah. And then the God, he's big. Look at big him. <laughs> They're like piranhas. Yeah. They left that alone. Yeah, they left that one. They'll get it. Either that or the crabs will get it. Yep. Got one more in the bucket. Now they're getting, something big just got it. Probably can't. Snook hanging around here today. Was there? Yeah, sun went down. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a quick and easy meal that you can do with your fish. We went fishing yesterday. We went fishing on the 4th and yesterday, and we caught some nice red snapper. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy dish that we like to do. You can do it with any fish, snapper, grouper, um, whatever your fresh catch is. We're going to take some onions and peppers. And we're gonna do a foil pouch in the oven on top of some coconut rice that we're gonna make in the rice cooker here in a little bit, which is just basically follow your rice cooker instructions, but instead of using water, we're gonna use mostly coconut milk. And then we're also gonna add some green onion and some unsweetened coconut flakes. So for the pouch, normally we do diced onions, but we're gonna slice them horizontally or north to south, some people call it. Also have some peppers left over from a recipe the other night. We're gonna use those green, red, orange, or yellow peppers. You can use just green or just orange or just red, whatever you whatever you got on hand. If you haven't seen any of the fishing videos yet, please check them out. We try to post at least a couple a month weather permitting that we can get out there. It's red snapper season right now. We've been pretty fortunate to have some beautiful days when I've been off to be able to go out. If you guys are wondering, I'm not throwing them on the counter. I got a discard bowl. I always like to Another bowl on there it makes it a lot easier. That's all there is to it. So we'll put this in a foil pouch. We'll get our Red snapper on top of it, a little butter in there, a little seasoning. We're going to use some Jamaican seasoning. It's going to be yummy. Now that we have the vegetables prepared for our foil pack for our fish dish tonight, I'm going to get together the coconut rice, which I'm going to cut the bottoms off, put that in the rice, in the rice cooker. I'll keep the tops um, for putting on top of the fish once we 
take it out of the oven and, and plate it. maker going okay now I'm gonna assemble the rice and our rice cooker is got little marks on it one two three four basically it's three quarters of a cup of rice to whatever line so if you have two three-quarter cups it's to line two of, but for two people just one three-quarter cup of rice should be good I'm gonna add maybe a little over a tablespoon of coconut flakes unsweetened coconut flakes we're gonna add some onion to it and then we're gonna add um, coconut milk and a little bit of water if you, you can do just coconut milk but it can make the rice a little bit too creamy you want to make sure you shake up the coconut milk before you add it to the to the rice cooker all right so let me get some rice going and use jasmati rice and we're gonna measure it out three quarters of a cup and then we're gonna rinse it three times and then add our ingredients Now I'm going to rinse that three times. I actually did that four times. It's still a little cloudy, the water, when I, when I did it. So sprinkle your coconut in. Don't really want that to be on the bottom, because if you put that on the bottom, it's going to burn. Put a little bit of our green onion in. Water, coconut milk. all there is to it okay guys what we have here is a couple of nice beautiful American red snapper fillets you could probably just cook them just like that we did remove the pin bones out of the middle some people like to take this out which we are some of those people probably this fresh of meat would be fine but just to be on the safe side we're gonna take that out Skin right there. Same thing on this one. It's fatter on this side than it is on the other side, so you kind of want to angle your knife in so you don't lose any of that good meat. See, it's there's really not that much red on the back side, but you want to get that out. And I like to trim off the little tip too, because that can get a little bit overdone. This won't take very long in the oven. Probably take about 25 minutes on 350. And I'm gonna get these where I can lay them out evenly in that full pouch. So we'll get this guy too. All right. Try not to get any scales in there too. All right, so let's get the full pouches assembled. All right, I got two sheets of aluminum foil here. I'm gonna get the veggies. A nice little layer on the bottom. A few more onions. A little sprinkle of the bottoms of the onions, of the green onions. butter in there. Do three tabs of butter, I think. And then 
this is some real Jamaican seasoning. You can see the pimento seeds and everything in there. We've also used this one in the past. Malcolm Reed's bar, How to Barbecue Right. Jim and Jerk. This one is really good too. But we're going to try the... Somebody gave me some real Jamaican seasoning. So we're going to try that. Put a little bit on your veggies. And then on your... On your meat. Stuff can be pretty salty, so just be a little careful. That's all there is to it. Now you wanna, when you fold these up, you wanna make a nice seal on the top. Try to get where there's not, it's gonna keep all the steam and everything in there, so. Try to make a nice fold. One down, and we'll get the other one done. See how our rice turned out. Looking good. All right, now that our fish is done, let's get it plated up. Super hot, be very, very careful. Look at that. juice out of there. A little bit of green onion. Let's give it a try. That's so good.